He's so cute. I just love him, love him, love him, love him. We'll keep on. You know, we had to come in the car and listen to Billy Idol. First thing was really important. It's just so cute, this little town. This little, like, wall with the tiles and stuff. Good morning, it's me, the Tominator, and over there is Candy somewhere and Xavier, and I'm getting ready to go soon to YMCA with Xavier. He's gonna play and hang out and have a fun time, and I'm gonna do a little workout and hopefully hit the steam room. And uh, I'm just getting some food ready, so I have something to eat, some food for Xavier, and make sure we have all the supplies we need. I've got my gym bag ready to go, my ultimate 80s gym playlist crafted to perfection. Okay, Xavier and I are on the way to YMCA. We've got Kokomo going, so that's great. And uh, we're gonna have a good time, I think. Candy's pretty tired today because Xavier woke her up at like four something, I guess. He woke me up before six, so it's gonna be a father-son adventure. Right, buddy? So I am home alone. It doesn't really happen too often, but once in a while, Tom will take Xavier somewhere, but it's really, it's really rare that that happens. So today he's gone off to the YMCA with Xavier, so, because I didn't get all my stuff ready yet for going, um, we're going to do that later today, but it's just weird to have, like, nobody here except, like, the cat. Then it makes me feel a little strange having Xavier away without me around. I don't feel this way when he's at Nana and Gramps, but like I, if they if they like go somewhere with him, then I kind of like have a funny feeling. Not that I, I don't trust them. I think it's just like mom instincts or something. It's the same situation with Tom. Like of course I trust him and everything, but <laughs> for some reason it just feels weird like knowing they're out and I'm here and I'm not nearby, you know, for in case something happens. Even though I know you know if Xavier got upset that they could calm him down, he would be fine. So I don't know. It's just mom stuff. It's weird. All right, we made it. Are you excited, buddy? The buddy. Yeah, that's right. And dudes and dudettes, um, we just got out of the gym. Xavier had a great time in the play area, it looked like. He was playing with other kids, even, which he doesn't ever really do. And he was playing with trucks and bouncing balls. And I thought I'd be in there like half an hour, right? And it was, it was like 50 minutes. Uh, Cause I had to figure out this wacky treadmill they had, and then had a shower, had a steam, and then had a shower. And let me tell you, <laughs> that steam room. You know, we had to come in the car and listen to Billy Idol. First thing was really important, and then, um, you know, give Xavier a drink. And he, uh, we we're gonna eat some food, so he opted to start with olives, which seemed to be gone. And now he wants to pour out his water, which we don't want to do. All right, we're gonna stop and do some. Eating. Okay, we're out and about. We're driving around. Where are we? Uh. You don't know where we are. We're shopping on Earth. We're leaving Target and we're going up there, up the hill, and we're going to Dick's. I just got some um, shorts and a shirt for the gym when we start going to the YMCA. And now we gotta go to Dick's so that I can hopefully find a good sports bra and maybe even a bathing suit. So we'll see how that goes. All right, in Michael's shop to get some things for my dragon sculpture. So I'm gonna look in the jewelry area and hopefully we're gonna get some stuff and bug out of here, right, see? Bug out. I'm gonna bug out. All right, we are in where? New London? Yes. And we're walking around. I get to come here finally and see what Tom saw last weekend. Last week, yep, that's when yeah. I discovered it. So I just saw the, well, I don't know, what is that, a bay or something? I don't really know, I have to check a map. But yeah, this this will be the closest I've been to like ocean water, isn't that crazy? The actual ocean, you like, land lover. <laughs> I can't help it, I was born here with a great lake. Got me a land loving wench, count. for sure. So cute around here though, let me show you. Look at these tiles and stuff. It's just so cute, this little town. This little like wall with the tiles and stuff. With the whales. 
Like, yeah. Like, holy crap, you probably can see like whales out there at some points. That would be amazing. It's so cool. Check this out. Oh, is the big ferry coming in? Oh my god, there's all some interesting stuff. It's like an old time boat thing. And then over here we have a ferry coming in. That's so neat. We've got these huge gulls. I wish I knew what kind they were. They're not the kind that fly around Walmart, that's for sure. And we're getting some food at this cool food truck. Yeah, Brazilian food. Brazilian food. There we go. That looks interesting. Got I can't wait tip. to see you eat it. I'm getting my chicken ciabatta from this place. Curb your appetite. So that sounds like it'll be pretty good. It's got garlic. Mayo, spinach, grilled chicken, tomato, red onion, and blue cheese on ciabatta. And that's good. You're enjoying that, right? Yes. So this is what mommy got. It looks good. There we go. Yep. Gonna stuff my face with that now. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got at Michael's for the Zodiac Dragons. I got some, it's hemp cord or, yeah, hemp cord. And then I got these little um, jump ring. These jump rings are for the, the little charms so that when I put them on, they're not facing sideways, they'll face outwards so everyone can see the charm, what's on it. So I'm gonna try and put one of those together soon because I really wanna see what the final product looks like on a complete statue with the charms on it. It's gonna be super cute. And then for working out the stuff, I got some cute shorts and a tank top. So I got this here. It's like light white shorts. It has like a little spandex underneath, but they're cute. And then I just got this um, gray tank top that is a, uh, it's pretty simple looking. I mean like I I don't I don't want to stand out too much so I didn't want to get anything too flashy or colorful but you know I just still want to look somewhat cute so I think that that looked good together in the changing room. And then finally just got these little toiletry things. They're just like these little squirt squeeze bottles and I got in blue and green. That will be for my shampoo and for my face wash at the gym when I'm cleaning up. And then I got a little oil volet body wash um, so that you know I can clean up after working out and probably being sweaty and icky. All right, you guys, I have done it. I added the necklace onto the dragon and I can't even begin to describe how happy I am. It is so cute, let me show you. All right, here it is. Check out that tiny little charm. Isn't that adorable? I'm so happy with how this came out. He's got the little hemp necklace. And it just looks so adorable. I love how it just hangs there and the hemp kind of holds a shape. So it kind I could kind of put it to a point and it just looks natural. It looks so good. I'm so happy with this. He's so cute. I just love him, love him, love him, love him. I'll keep him. I'll keep him for myself. No, sadly. I'm gonna have to sell you because I need bunny. Mm. So great. My child is home who I haven't seen all day. And all he wanted to do was get in the sandbox, lay down, and play. Doesn't even want to see his mommy. I haven't seen him all morning because he left earlier than usual to the YMCA.
Did you go to the YMCA with Daddy? Hmm? Huh, Levy? Well, I'm gonna end the vlog because it's getting close to his bedtime soon. Anyway, about an hour. So I think I will stop here so that I can do a little bit of editing. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mm.